Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another Indie Sense, hosted by me, Dead English, and today I am bringing you the musical Tetris-like game of Chime. It's uh, it's put out there by the One Big Game Company, and I picked it up years ago uh, through one of the Steam sales that they had grouping of music games. Um, I think I got Audio Surf in there, I got this one, I got a bunch of different little music games. Um, Bit Trip Beat, I think was one of them. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is sort of like a tetris -y puzzle kind of solving game, but, uh, it involves music in very cool ways, and let's see if I can show that to you now. So you start off with a time mode and you have to unlock free mode. I uh, learned that yesterday because I had none of my saves on this computer and I'm playing offline so I have no cloud saves. So we're going to be starting all over again and this really annoys me. I'm pretty sure I don't have an Xbox Live account on my fucking computer. I had Windows Live uh, because that was their branch of computer sort of achievements and games, but they're closing that branch down. So what the fuck? And I didn't remember this being in the game. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the game when I first bought it. Um, but let's get it. Enough with that. I'm going to just do a quick three minute. Uh, as you can see, I sort of played through yesterday just to re-pick it up. It has been about three years since I played it, maybe more. But, yeah, we'll start with some Philip Glass. And you got some uh, interesting composers here. Here, you got Jonathan Colton, which did a lot of the uh, orange box kind of music. See, there's the Portal song you can hear and you got Moby and Paul Hartnell I really like this one we'll get to that in a second so we're playing a three minute um, yeah and you'll see what just to show you what's involved so you start out with a piece and up at the top in the middle you can see that there's a piece up here um, that shows you what's going to come next and you're just placing them like you would Tetris but you're forming these kind of squares and you want to make the squares as large as possible or not even squares they're pretty much just quadrilaterals and you want to make them just expand as much as you can because that gets you more points and the more of the board you fill up the better off you are you can unlock more songs and I guess you can get on the leaderboard if you have an Xbox Live account via Steam or something like I said I do own this through Steam not on Xbox uh, okay so yeah so you're just I found it easiest to just con fuck I just fucked myself over Right as I was saying, I find it easiest. Um, yeah, doing uh, thin kind of shapes is always easiest for me because I can just run it all the way across. So, yeah. And then you just kind of create shapes like that. And as uh, parts start to lay on the board, for a longer period of time you can see that they sort of turn lighter and lighter until the bar that's sweeping horizontally across will pass them one final time and make them disappear. So yeah it clears out the board after a while which is which is nice because it gives you a chance to kind of fucking start your start your thing all over again can't do anything with that but yeah you can see they're all getting really light here and that one over here is blinking so we could just sort of use it really quickly if we wanted to we didn't have to but 
it's nice we gave it a purpose. And then... There. Yeah, every time the bar is about to fill up, you can always fill up a little part of it, and it'll start all over again from the bottom. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this game when I first got it. Like I said, I got it on the Steam sale. But, I had no clue what it was when I did first get it. Like many of the bundles that they sell, they sell games with well-known games. So you sort of don't realize, or you don't know every single game in that bundle. And this was the unknown games. Fuck screwed up um but I enjoy playing it a lot more than say like an audio surf or that type of thing audio surf is fun but it's kind of hard to show off if people uh if people don't recognize the music you're playing they may not understand that like oh this game takes any music and transforms it they may think, oh, it just took that song and made it whatever because it's in the game. There are no songs in the game, but whatever. Enough about that. More about this. So you can definitely see like the tetris -y elements. It's not a blatant ripoff of Tetris. If it was not a music game, sure, it would be very easy to see that it just stole stuff from Tetris but it involves music really kind of in a cool way like you can tell that the music keeps on advancing itself throughout the song the more you complete of the uh, this little square that you're trapped in the more sections of that that you fill up the more the song advances and you get to hear the full song if you advance enough of it or if you complete enough of it, <clears throat> I should say. I feel like I'm turning into a goblin with this recording. Good lord, my voice is dying. Fuck, I screwed that up. Ah. Well, that sucks. Gotta start over here now. There you go. Come on. Okay. Got that square. And we're just building squares. Oh, shit. I forgot about the countdown. Yeah, you could sort of stall the countdown if you complete a square quick enough. Like, it'll give you more time, but... Um, if your square is still being completed while well, the time counts down to zero, it doesn't count it uh, towards the time. So see, that was a three-minute round, and you could see I got five minutes and 19 seconds in. That's because I completed enough squares to add to the time. And uh, they do go off of the amount of score from expanding the boxes and all that to the amount you covered of the board. So that's good. And then quadrilaterals created. 88. Largest quad. 72. Multiplier. 8. So yeah. So uh, that's pretty much what this game is, and then the next level uh, starts to add new, new sort of elements. You get you get newer, different shapes, and you could tell the you could see the board has parts missing now, which makes it a little bit trickier to if you were going for a complete sort of board here, it would make it a little bit trickier. But, and this is one of the new shapes that they added to this board. Fuck. Screwed that up. Ah. Okay. Come on, get rid of it. Yeah, see, they uh, clear it out every time that bar sweeps by. Which is nice. And this is the song I like, so I'll play through this just to let you guys hear it. kind of haunting and yeah you uh, when that horizontal bar just swept through you could tell that piano just picked up and it's like 
the song starts completing itself as uh, as the puzzle continues to or not the puzzle as the board continues to be completed which is really cool yeah you could see you could hear uh, you can hear it okay ah screwed 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 damn it yeah it's kind of a uh, difficult to talk and do this at the same time but we'll try to get through it yeah anytime the blocks are blinking it's not like a huge sense of urgency to complete them you don't need to keep them there they'll just disappear it's no fucking big deal but if you can use them might as well use them right just like if you can expand blocks why not There. 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 Okay, that's all I can do with that. And look, this is what happens when the blocks blink. And uh, you you don't do anything with them. It just eliminates everything. See? Now you have a full-blown... Full-blown area. With very few blocks left. And you get to see how much of the board you've completed. Can I do here? I can do that. Oh, and it wipes out your multiplier. I forgot about that. Yeah, the more uh, the more little squares or quadrilaterals you build, it builds up towards your multiplier. So sometimes you're better off just leaving that to build on its own and then starting a whole new quad. And then you could start like a quad over here, maybe see now that's a three times multiplier you could just leave that the danger in doing this is you're leaving more blocks to sort of expire out so you gotta kinda work quickly while trying to fill up the board you always want to try to fill up the board because that gets you a higher score as well let's see what can I do here no, I don't want to lose you. There. Okay, I wonder if I can... Oh, my multiplier's gone. I got it up to 8. <laughs> but see, uh, you can... You can barely see what, of the, how much of the board you filled up with all those blocks laying on. So even though it does wipe the multiplier, sometimes it's always a good idea to just let it wipe out so you can work on completing more of the board and you could always like go over like see this is overlapping but I do need that one block so you could just sort of do that to overlap and I need this there and you can't just place blocks, you need to form quadrilaterals to take out certain sections of the board. Certain sections of the board won't disappear. And this is going to give me more time, watch. It didn't give me more time! Oh fuck! I screwed up! I thought that would give me more time. Ah! No! Well, I did alright. <sighs> See, I lasted uh, 4 minutes and 59 seconds in a 3 minute round. That's pretty good. So that should give you a sense of what this game is like. Um, if you see it on Steam, I do suggest picking picking it up. Uh, I don't think they do those bundles anymore, like music bundle, indie game bundle. They usually just do like... This is... Uh, this is an Activision bundle, or this is, uh, um, like they do certain company bundles, like they'll do a Bethesda bundle, or Activision bundle, or Rockstar bundle. I don't think they do the indie game bundle or music bundle anymore. But yeah, this was Chime, uh, on Indie Sense. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I really enjoyed this game. 
and I hope you did too. So I'm Dead English, and I'll catch you next time. See you dudes.